everybody wants to know what we're investing in, what we're looking at, and we're living in that time now where we're really kind of more focused on an ecosystem. So what's unique about Phantom is Phantom is an ecosystem. That means it's layer one blockchain, but things are built on top of this blockchain, similar to how, kind of how Ethereum you know, created the EVM, then you've got Tether, USDC, all of these tokens. Essentially, Ethereum originally was designed to do one thing, which, is, which was to create ICOs so that people could issue a token easily because it was very, very difficult to do this on Bitcoin. So before you would have you know, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Feathercoin, everybody would have to fork Bitcoin on GitHub. So Ethereum ma made it very, very easy by having you learn JavaScript, Solidity, and you know, Phantom's definitely taking it to the next level because now that it's EVM compatible, now with the speed and the low cost of transactions, you, know, you see amazing projects like Art Wallet, Yoshi Exchange, Spirit Swap, Spooky. I mean, th those are just to name a few, you know, Overdrive. Um, but what I want to do is really kind of show you now we're kind of going to the stage where we're, we're starting to build applications on top of these blockchains, like real world applications. So happy to share some of these with you. So wasn't that incredible yesterday? I mean, a developer conference where one of my favorites, D, favorite DJs, Adam K, and my good friend Alec Monopoly was on stage and they were painting while he was spinning. So that, that, that kind of spontaneous combustion can only happen at a developer conference. So thanks to those guys for being here and making it happen. Alec, unfortunately, had to fly, I think, to London or to, New York, to Miami for an art show, but he really, really wanted to be here. So why, am, why did I put this up here? Well, what, so if all of you have seen Alec, uh, Alec Monopoly's like Monopoly Man, you'll notice here that I got him to paint a couple of projects that you know, I've, I've, I've invested in. So obviously there's Phantom right there, and Tomb, and then there's Just Yours, and Zoo, Zoo Coin. Now, I couldn't put all of them on the picture because some of the ones hadn't officially been, been announced yet that I'm backing them or our fund is invested in, but that's part of what this presentation about is the ecosystem of projects that we're, we're invested in. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about that. So first, I mean, and this is in alphabetical order, this is why I did this. I was fortunate enough to meet the, uh, the hacking and the art wall guys through one of my business partners uh, early last week. And I said to them, you know what? looks amazing because the biggest problem right now with NFTs is there's no easy way for me to view my NFTs. So I said, no problem, happy to back you guys, but it's gotta run on Phantom. And what did they do? They made it Phantom first, so thank you, Nazar. Thank you, Dima, where are you guys? Thank you for creating this. Thank you for being part of the conference. Thank you for letting me uh, help you guys execute your vision. So real simple, what's Art Wallet? Smart and secure NFT app, 21st century you know, Spotify and, and iTunes. So really, really exciting stuff. Um, and this is the more interesting one. Because I'm in the UAE, I can't really talk about Just Yours too much, but think of it similar to kind of like the OnlyFans, but it's running on Phantom. So in January, we'll be doing a lot more stuff in Miami. Sorry, Tuffin and Dimitri, but unfortunately, that's the rules here, so I've got to go through this really, really quick. But what's exciting about Just Yours is it's allowing um, adult and user-generated content to be... Um, done through Web3, and payment is through Just, and instead of like uh, OnlyFans taking, you know, tw uh, I think 20% and 80%, we're doing like a 10% to, uh, to Just, and then 90% goes to the content creator. So really, really cool. Overdrive, this one's really, really cool too. So uh, Simone and a bunch of other guys, um, you know, I was fortunate enough to meet. Social media and marketing and branding is a very, very important thing. So imagine a new way to earn, and this, this project's in beta right now, it's gonna launch soon. And social media engagement, post to earn, so we're gonna do Twitter first and Instagram, et cetera, et cetera. So it's one of the projects that you know, we're backing. And of course, you guys all saw the Lambos, right? Yeah, went Lambo, right? I mean, the other day I, I was just like, okay, what would be really cool, I'm not an artist myself, but this is kind of like art, right? In some ways, so I thought it would be pretty cool because Lambos are kind of like a meme. So why not put like a big tomb logo on a purple Lambo, right? So I'm not gonna bore you guys a little bit too much about tomb finance because I spent an entire section on it. So, but just a quick review, what's tomb finance? Algorithmic backed stable coin, designed to be pegged to phantom, but 
what we're doing now is we want the, there's not a lot of supply of tomb, and we think there needs to be a little bit more, so we're gonna let the peg run up to probably two to one, and then we'll probably start kind of managing it, so um, we're, we're allowing the expansion so people can make like very, very good yields and whatnot. Um, it's all done in a smart contract, so a lot of fun, a lot of good opportunities for yield farming. Uh, there, check out Tomb Finance. Zucoin, obviously, uh, one of our investments. Uh, Ivan and the team, where are you guys? You guys here? No, they're probably out, like working the hackathon. Um, those guys are hardcore. So what is Zoo? Zoo is a DEX aggregator, NFT marketplace, and they supply trading tools. Uh, one of my favorite projects, it invested early on. And then one of the ones that most people don't know about, they kind of see, seen everything, and you probably saw this green Lambo with Yoshi. So one of uh, my good friends and partners that I work with came up with a great idea, has a team, you know, Daniel and Kirill, hats off to you guys. Are you guys here, Daniel, Kirill? All right, you guys in the back, sweet. Um, they're helping solve a very, very important problem, which is the fiat, easy fiat on-ramp. So it's very, very difficult to buy Phantom right now. It's not easy for a consumer to buy Phantom. So imagine if you can buy uh, with credit card directly on and off or some ATM, like, you know, interact, that kind of thing. That's really, really like Yoshi's initial goal. And very, very successful project. Launch, congratulations, guys. Thanks for having me being a part of it. Oh, that's it. I'm done. No, no, what? You guys want, you guys want some alpha, don't you? Okay, are you, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Okay. The clicker doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't. JK, just kidding. Kitty. Kitty. You know, everybody does dog coins. I'm a cat person myself, so. So I want you guys to remember this picture. I can't tell you what the name of it is yet, but we'll be making announcements soon. Look, another kitty, look. You guys, you guys are cats? Okay. Mmm. Have you guys seen the Binance Lambo? It's pretty awesome, right? <laughs> are you guys ready? Are you sure? I, I can't hear you, are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. Okay, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Just chill, jeez. So part of my love as being an engineer developer is really to help solve problems. And Phantom has created such a great ecosystem and so many projects. So I'm like, okay, what am I really, really good at? Um, things that I've been really able to help projects on are liquidity. And liquidity in any project is super important when you're launching and whatnot. But What's the problem when you're trading? Well, everything on Phantom now, unfortunately, I, I mean, it's interesting. We started with the centralized exchanges, and then everybody's, then Uniswap came out, and then everybody's going to decentralized exchanges. But the reality is, we live in a world where we need both, okay? I know you guys are ready for this. You guys have seen CZ here. You guys kind of see pictures with me every now and then. Um, I've been very, very fortunate um, to know CZ. I um, also like the Binance team. Binance is my favorite platform. So official signed a deal. We're, creating, we're le leveraging Binance Cloud's platform to build a centralized exchange only for phantom projects. OK? What does that mean for you guys? Well, first, why do we need a centralized exchange? Um, so it's funny, the, the one thing I said I would never do in my entire life is build a cryptocurrency exchange because I run a hedge fund and running a cryptocurrency exchange is one of the most difficult, most challenging things. You're a constant target, hackers, custodian, everything. And everybody keeps asking, why do you want to run an exchange? I'm like, because first off, um, it's so much work and the amount of like, eyeballs on you is just, it's a lot. So this is why I always focus on the hedge fund side providing liquidity. However, when I, when I looked at all the different platforms, and I just want to solve this problem for Phantom because I love Phantom's blockchain, I love Phantom's ecosystem, and this solves a problem. So I'm sorry, but to me, this is 
bigger than a Coinbase announcement because this allows liquidity for all the phantom pairs available to the rest of the world. That's easy. That means we have the choice to use Spooky Swap, Spooky Swap Spirit Swap, Yoshi, all these, but now you have a choice also to use a centralized exchange. So what does that mean? Well, we all know limit orders work like crap on, on decentralized exchanges. You can't do true limit orders. So this is one of the problems we need to solve. Now, deeper liquidity, high frequency trading in robots. Now, it's only for Phantom's ecosystem. This is why I'm so excited. And thank you to the Binance team. See, what most people don't know is Binance is one of the most important bridges. When I spent some time talking with CZ about the future of Binance and why everything is really, really multi-chain and cross-platform, Binance is that central bridge that allows the rest of the world easy access on and off. Their job is the most difficult, and the fact that they even license this for, for, um, for us, you're going to start seeing this for a lot of other chains. I think we're going to lead the way for We're going to focus on Phantom, but I think you're going to start seeing a lot of exchanges pop up that are specifically focused because Binance is such a big exchange, but they can't list every single pair. So what we're going to do is we're just going to focus on the pairs that are for Phantom. So it's really, really for you guys. Why Binance Cloud? It is the world's best exchange infrastructure. I don't care what anybody says. It's the best. Remarket liquidity. That means on our new exchange, you'll get Phantom USDT remarketed. It's the same. That also means they handle the custodian. So everything for you guys stays the same, except you get a nice little cat branded as an exchange. But there's also going to be a utility token, OK? So it's going to be like another BNB. So familiar ease of use, there's going to be mobile. So it's going to be game changing for everybody on the Phantom ecosystem. So of course, you're going to have the Phantom USDT pair, Phantom base pairs, Tomb pairs. These are just the ones to start that we're going to provide liquidity for. Spooky, Spirit, Tomb, T-Share, T-Bond, Ice, Spell, Magic Internet Money, Yoshi, and OneArt. And one of the main reasons I wanted to do this was because a lot of people came to me and said, hey, Harry, these exchanges, all of them, they want to charge us half a million, a million bucks to, to do this. So I said, you know what? Screw that. It costs us 25 grand to list on Binance Cloud plus another 25 grand, so 50 grand. I'm not, I don't care about making money for this. I just want to help the Phantom ecosystem. This, you're going to get the best centralized exchange as tokens. You guys just have to provide the liquidity. And so that, to me, is the exciting part, and it's launched in Q4 of 2021 this year. So hope you guys are excited. OK, I'm done. So did you guys like that? Do you guys like that? What do you guys think? OK? Finance for Phantom. We were kind of joking. If I could buy finance.com, it's actually Binance plus Phantom, so it's finance.com. But that would, that's not a bad idea, actually. So just one more thing, I promise. So now that I'm going to be building an exchange, I've also created a new problem for myself. Um, one more one million US dollar hackathon. OK? Now why? What problem I want to solve? Open sourced market maker, high frequency trading robot to work with Binance, Kraken, and FTX, ability to work with decentralized exchanges on Phantom. That's what I need. More details. See, was it, is Cheeto here? Look at the Cheeto guys. OK, see I, see, I told you I got to keep you busy, right? Um, written in Golang, we'll announce after the conference what we're going to do. Have a reference to something similar to Hummingbot. Um, we'll get you kind of like a little bit more details as they come available. But why I, I need this built is we want to have very, very good liquidity, but we want everybody in the room not. So isn't it great that you can provide liquidity on things uh, like Spirit and Spooky Swap very easily? Well, I want to invest and make it easy for you guys to provide liquidity on, de on centralized exchanges and decentralized exchanges. So that's the million dollars I'm putting up for the hackathon. That's it. I, I sort of got that said, I have nothing else. <laughs>